So we are about 28 miles into our ride and we're here stopped. So Friday, I had a pain on my, uh, my right shoulder blade. I was at work and all of a sudden I felt this kind of piercing pain that shot down my, uh, my, my back and also my, my front here. Um, I actually had a hard time breathing because of, I was in so much pain. Actually, I took two Advils a couple hours after I got home and before bed, I took an Aleve and that seemed to have helped. So I don't know how I got that injury. Um, my only guess would be when a couple of weeks ago when I was testing out the suspension for my mountain bike and I was pressing down on the handlebars and I think I tweaked something as I was doing that. And so I, that's the only thing that I could think of, but it looks as though that it's, um, it's acting up again. Today it's been okay. Uh, it hasn't done anything. It's, I, I feel fine, um, but I'm just keeping an eye out on it. We almost didn't get to do this ride because of that. couple of cats. I think that one looks like it's pregnant. Well guys, the views here is amazing. Uh, I think this is not the highest point that we're riding through, but it feels like we're pretty high up there. And the foliage. Oh, so nice. So we're riding into Sharon, Connecticut now, where we got out of the uh, rail trail and we have this quiet beautiful road to ourselves
Okay guys, we are 55 miles into the ride, so that's over halfway in. Uh, don't know where we are, somewhere in Sharon, I think, or a little past Sharon. Uh, and we're still climbing. We still have a more climbing to do, so we were just doing the uh, two or three mile climb, but we have, we're gonna come back down, and then we have another climb uh, approaching Seeger Mountain and the north side. So uh, that's about two or three miles with average grade of 5.6%, I think. Uh, so yeah, we have, we're almost finishing up with this climb and then we will do the Seeger Mountain climb. But yeah, uh, we're going, well, I'm going uh, pretty slow at a easy pace of 12 miles per hour. Uh, wanted to keep it easy. There were some, it's kind of hard to, you, to uh, get momentum uh when we do when we climb especially the the gravel roads so um yeah so so far we you know i still feel pretty good i'm kind of nervous that you know we're running out of i don't know we might be running out of daylight by the time we get home and the doggies need to eat so i always get nervous doing these long rides um, I think I just get nervous that something might go wrong and I can't fix it and we, we're stuck in the middle of nowhere so so far so good with our gear I've been keeping the keeping food down no problem probably because we're going pretty easy I mean my heart rate hasn't really spiked above 180 starting to feel really tired um, and sore. My neck is killing me. My lower back is bothering me. But we are 67 miles into the ride and we just finished our big climb, uh, second big climb. So that's all for the climbing. Uh, and then we still have Candlewood Lake and a couple of little climbs to get back home. So we're in the town of Warren um, and then we're heading down over to Kent and to Gaylordsville. Hopefully the shop there is open to get water. Um, so yeah. <sighs> boy we're 80 miles into the ride now Jason's in the store uh, oh here he is now grabbing water for the rest of the ride back home so we have about 30 miles or so left to go now what am I saying 20 miles I can't even do math oh but by I'm slowing down I definitely I'm starting to get hungry I'm gonna eat some more um digest that and hopefully we can uh, uh finish strong yeah it's uh it's getting a little difficult now uh i'm also getting tired 
Um, I mean, my, my legs are actually fine. It's just kind of mentally, more mentally tired and just like Joy said, getting a little hungry. Um, groin pain is awful, but I guess that kind of happens on any long ride for me. Um, but we'll make it. We got, uh, I think we got around 20 miles left. So yeah, the good news is we only have 20 miles left. The bad news is we have 20 miles left. So unfortunately, I may not get all of the rest of the ride at the end. My, I'm running out of batteries and right now this is saying it's 12% left. So hopefully Jason's camera does have battery left. Um, it's close to about four o'clock now and we just stopped at the convenience store there and got waters and I was able to get a cliff bar, uh, take in a cliff bar and a gel. So that seemed to have helped, um, but yeah, now we have left is the Kendallwood Road Climb and ah, 10% left, it's telling me. All right, I gotta put you guys away.